Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos, and this is a mod spotlight on the rings mod. So, this mod adds in a bunch of rings which do different magical things. So I'm going to start with the recipes and then I'll show you uh, what all these rings can do. So the first thing you're going to need to make a ring is an anvil. So let's have a look in here. I'll switch that off. And this represents the crafting table. You need yourself a block of iron and a blaze powder and that will create a magical anvil. Now the anvil behaves just like um, a workbench. So let's put this down here. And as you can see, in fact let's just move it. There we go. So as you can see, it's magical. It's It's got things going on. Let's put that one back in there. And uh, if I right click, it opens up just like a, a workbench. But obviously the only thing you can make on here is, is rings. So Rings are what you're going to need, so all you need is four golden nuggets, like so, to make yourself a ring. And the first ring we're going to look at is the Ring of Invisibility. And as you would expect, it uses four eyes of enders, which is quite difficult to get hold of, but I think it's a good way of representing how difficult, it, you know, for the power that you get, how difficult it would be to make this. It is right. It's balanced very, very well. This mod, I, I really like it. So, so you get your, your bog standard ring in the middle, uh, four pieces of glass, and you get yourself a ring of invisibility. And I will show you in a moment what these rings can do. But I'll collect them all up first. So then you've got your ring of levitation. So four feathers, three blaze rods, a normal ring, and a gas tear like that, and that'll give you the ring of levitation. Then you've got the Ring of Aronia, I believe it's pronounced, and this is, it'll let you walk up walls. I'll demonstrate it in a moment, like I say. Uh, so, four pieces of string, four spider eyes, the Ring of Aronia, uh, the Ring of Aquatics, as you can imagine, lets you breathe underwater, so four fish, raw fish, uh, four water buckets, gives you the Ring of Aquatics, and then you've got the Ring of Ignition. Again, as you quite, as you'd imagine from the name, you know, it's to do with fire and lava. So there you go, you've got um, four fire charges, four lava buckets. And uh, next one is the Ring of Hunger. Does exactly what it says on the tin, it'll restore your hunger for you. So you need four mushroom soups. The mushroom soups need to be this way, but the cooked chicken, the cooked fish, the steak and the pork chops can go in any order, like so, to make uh, the Ring of Hunger. But the, the stews need to be that way. And the last one is the Ring of Invincibility. And as you'd expect, it costs a lot to make it, which is what I like about this. It's very balanced. Uh, so there you go. You got you need four blocks of diamond, four obsidian for the Ring of Invincibil Invincibility. Now, all these rings don't just give you a benefit straight off the cuff. They do give you a benefit, but some of them have a negative side effect as well, which is... It's just genius. It, it, a mod like that, like this, deserves something like that. You know, the guy who's made this has really thought about it and put the effort in. Even the recipes are really well representative of uh, of the rings. So let's check out the first ring, uh, which would be the ring of invisibility. So what we're going to do is going to get into a normal survival node. Uh, we're on dif normal difficulty, so I think. We want to go and find ourselves a mob. Oh, we could probably just spawn one in. Let's spawn one in. One second. So, around the corner, I've spawned in a zombie. So, let's go and see if we can find him. Uh, if he's not wandered off. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Oh, there he goes. Hey! Come get me. And if we right click, we dis. Whoops. There we go. One right click. You don't need to hold it down. We disappear. And Mr. Zombie's no longer interested. Ooh, and it goes all funky. And then if we switch it off again, he should, without falling to his doom, <laughs> he's supposed to notice me. Oi! Oi, zombie! Hello! Hi! Yeah. Uh, this isn't the best place to be. But he's definitely noticed me there. If I right click again, I disappear, and he'll lose interest. So there we go. That is the Ring of Invisibility. 
we'll move on to the next one now. So the next one is the Ring of Levitation, uh, right here. And this behaves somewhat like um, so creative mode levitation. So what you do is you right click and you start levitating. So all you got to do is press the space bar. You don't need to double jump. Uh, just press the space bar and crouch to go down. And you get this funky little sparkle effect coming off your feet. Yay, check that out. And you can just fly around as you normally would in creative mode. But of course... You're not. You're doing this with a ring. Let's head back up there. That's lovely jubbly. That's really handy. Awesome. And the next one. Whoops. Let's try and land. So you right click to switch that off. You can tell because the field of view changes like so. There you go. Okay, the next one is... Ah! The Ring of Aranea. So when this is activated, like I said before, you can walk up walls. So let's switch that on and walk up to a wall and as you can see he's doing it already and you even start making spider sounds and there we go we can walk all the way up these sheer walls no problem how cool is that one so that's very handy no side effects to this one uh, like we do with it oh bloody hell like we do with the other stuff some of the others which I'm going to show you now and uh, the next one to look at is the ring of aquatics so we need to go down there. Let's fly down with our ring of levitation. Down we go. Ah, look at the little people. Right, uh, switch that off. Let's switch that one off. I believe this is the ring of aquatics. Let's go underwater. And as you can see, straight away, I don't need to breathe. But you may have noticed when I was still up here in the normal oxygenated area. I need to breathe. So basically what this has done is it's made it so you need to breathe underwater so it's in effect turned you into a fish. So so there you go, you go into water to get your breath back and out. And again, as as just like the rest of them, you uh, right click and that switches that off. So what's next? We have got Ah, the ring of ignition. Right, let's go back up to our little area because I've already prepared a little lava pit to show you what the Ring of Ignition does. Hop, switch that off, Ring of Ignition. Now this actually sets you on fire, as you can see, but it doesn't damage you. So, uh, as you can imagine, what this is going to do is when I get in the lava, like so, nothing happens. You don't burn, which is very handy. Again, no side effects to this one, which is good. Switch that off. Very handy for walking through lava, the Ring of Ignition. Then we've got... Ah, the Ring of Hunger. So, the Ring of Hunger. We need to get some hunger. So, the best way to show you this one would be to do the Ring of Invincibility first. So let's switch this on. Now, I am now invincible, so I can go and get in this lava and I won't die. But I can also take a massive drop like this and also not die. Now, as you can see already, uh, my hunger bars, my hunger chicken legs are all gone. And the side effect of this one is that when you switch your invincibility off, you instantly start to starve to death, which is the downside to this ring. So this is where the ring of hunger will come into it quite well. So let's switch this off. And I should, there you go, I'm starting to starve to death. Slowly but surely, I'm dying. Now with the ring of hunger, if I activate this one, it fills me back up. But, as you can see, the side effect of the ring of hunger is that it will start to damage you um, up to the point of death. So, did you get that? Do I need to explain it again? <laughs> the Ring of Invincibility will take away your hunger. So you, you, as soon as you switch it off, you instantly start to starve to death. But the Ring of Hunger will instantly fill your hunger, but once it's full, it will start to kill you. So there you go, that's how those rings work. Um, I think this mod is just genius. The mod maker has thought about it very, very cleverly. Um, 
you know, all the ups and downs of the different rings that they do and the recipes, it's very good, it's flawless, there's no bugs and I'd, I'd really like to see a few more different rings added in like, you know, maybe the one ring to rule them all, hint hint <laughs> and of course this map, this map is just glorious isn't it, don't you like this map? so do I, um, I'll put a download link to where you can, well, sorry not a download link but I'll put a link to where you can find out how to download this map um, I thought it'd be a nice map to for de demonstrating mods on, which is why I've chosen this one. So there you go, that is the Rings mod, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and favourite, and give it a go. It's extremely simple to install, you don't need um mod loader for this one. You can just drag and drop the files into your jar file, and away you go.